and I'm so glad we have our our lovely assistant in the background uh, yeah. uh, writing, writing all, all these down. And I'm like, <laughs> where the fuck's that goat taco? Yeah. I need that goat taco it's right now. Really, yeah. And I mean, even the last round I went, so I tell you, the biggest thing is like, with, with lo- just dining and stuff, it's like you just want to find the one thing. Right. Yeah. I promise you at La Fruta Feliz, the goat the is the goat. one thing. I love goat meat. I oh mean, God. you know, the Trepas is a good second right there. I'll get t- into them. I'll tell you my last big move. I, uh, I BYO'd my own salsa. Like, I, I, so I've become a big fan, I'm sure, you know, it's Austin, right? Everyone loves Salsa Donia, right? The Taco mm-hmm. Deli, the ubiquitous yeah. salsa. There's, there's yeah. nothing better. Yeah. The, you know, and, and if you guys ever made it, you know how it's made? Mm-mm. It's crazy. No. So what it is is jalapeno <laughs> serrano peppers. Okay. Yeah. Garlic. Okay. And oil. Yeah. What Super kind? simple. It's yeah. emulsified, and that creates oh. that creamy texture, I hope we don't right? get sued for that. Oh, it's on the internet. Oh, okay. It's too okay. late. <laughs> too late. If, if they found this thing, they probably could figure out. Yeah. <laughs> if they found our show. Yeah, I know. Like, yeah. If they're it, watching this show, I know. they can find that recipe uh, online. If you can get to the dark web yeah. where we are right now, <laughs> I'm sure we will find the recipe for Salsa Donia. Or you can just be on Reddit going, how do I get a light bulb? Go to hell, yeah, asshole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, exactly. <laughs> um, so, so I totally brought, brought your own salsa. Yeah, because this is the thing. After I've made it, I have realized that certain places, even my dear La Fruta Felice, like, you know, you add a little water. Mm. You know I mean? yeah. You can skip. Stretch a little You can water. skip a little bit. And I was yeah. like, one day I was like, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, guys. So yeah. I brought my own batch just to see. Mm. And it was also a great way to test out my salsa to see if it's as good as I think it is. Totally was. <laughs> totally was. And like, I felt like kind of like I had my jar. <laughs> you like brought it in a jar. You didn't yeah, bring, like, yeah, a yeah, yeah, No, no, yeah. I kept it in yeah. my, my laptop bag. Right. Yeah. right. You couldn't bring it home with you. And I needed to do it on like, the premises. Just, just doing it. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. I was like, I'm, yeah, you know, I was having a little like lunch this meeting. Is fresh. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm full on. Full on whipped out the jar. Any man who brings his own salsa to a taco spot. Is yeah. like that's right. this is one of my new friends. It's, it's like bringing friend. a flask. That's right. Yeah. That's what it is. That's but you know, is. less yeah. alcoholic. I guess. Right. Yeah. yeah. All right. So three pocket places. Now, if if you could give us, um, in in for time's sake and in respect of your time, and we appreciate it. Um, I've got nothing better. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, then, then never mind. Uh, <laughs> give us seventy hundred <laughs> yeah. Austin restaurants, starting from a hundred, making your way down. <laughs> oh God, here we go. And I want a description of your five favorite things on each menu, yeah, according right. no, no, to no. Eater. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we Man. teach everybody. Although, let's say I, Eater doesn't do a bad job. They, uh, you know, Nadia yes. does a good job. Yeah. Nadia, Nadia's out there. There's no one that writes as much as she does. No, for sure. And I, I'll shout her out on that. She's yeah. out there. She's no one that writes as much as she does. I, I mean, Eater that. does a real, I mean, across the board. Yeah. I mean, they're. I mean, they I've just followed them in stuff. Austin. I know they're everywhere, but yeah. Nadia Chadbury and I. It's, Chad, Chad, Chaudry. Chaudry, yeah. Um, I We're know from the tribe, so it's, yeah, like, <laughs> it's a little easier for me than <laughs> right. Here. He yeah. can say Bufalina, but he can't <laughs> say Chaudry. Yeah, yeah, I can't, yeah. <laughs> Close but, enough there. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, you know, it does a decent job. But here it is. Somebody is flying into town. Yeah. And you have to, they, they say, dude, I, I just, I want to catch dinner. You told me Austin's a cool place. Mm-hmm. I only have time to go out to one place. Oh. Where are you well, taking here's them? The thing. That, if, in your opinion, encapsulates Austin's vibe. Doesn't have to be the best restaurant. It it, it needs to encapsulate what you think is the, the Austin vibe. Oh, I have it. the answer. Okay, honestly, and I, it just makes perfect sense. If it had to be just one spot, just, just one, one spot, it covers it very well. Yeah. In the end of the day, um, Valentina, Valentina Tex Mex Barbecue. Tell okay. you why. Okay. I was there. Uh, I had a group just doing a food tour, huge group. So I like, you know, it's always nice when you have like a huge order and you get like, you're getting like a couple whole briskets to yourself, yeah. you know, <laughs> scratch flour tortilla. Oh yeah. I, I, I mean, a beautiful flour tortilla, a brisket that's just on point. I mean, as, as look, they use the same beef. I, I don't, I didn't see this. I've been told. Because this is going to get out there in the dark web. They're going to be like, this guy's an idiot. He's making stuff up. No, no. I've heard this, too. That he gets the same beef as Franklin. Yep. You get a piece of that brisket on his homemade flour tortilla. Mm-hmm. And then you reach, I love that Yucatan salsa. To me, that is Tex-Mex. Mm-hmm. I don't, margaritas and queso. No, 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 forget that. I want te- perfect Texas brisket in a flour tortilla like that. Mm-hmm. One spot. I, I just, I think 
it is very hard for people to come to Austin and not go, oh, yeah, like the taco barbecue thing. Mm -hmm. You can get it at once. In, and it, I, I don't think to do it at once like that. Yeah. As, as quality as his barbecue is, I agree it's, with you. It's it's pretty amazing. Yeah. I mean, you know, if you want to go over one spot, I, you know, in terms of like all the fine dining and stuff like that too, that's so subjective. Yeah, you know what I mean. Mm. Like, I mean, look, I would tell you, like, I go to Trill Taqueria. Basically, it's like if you can't do it in a tortilla, I really don't care. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. So my answer to that is always Loro. Yes, because uh, yeah. Because yeah, great one. You got Franklin and yeah. you got Tyson Cole yeah. collabing. Yeah. You've got Franklin's base. You got Tyson's Cole's nuance of flavor. Yeah. And it's bouncing all around the menu. And it's cheap. I, relatively I, speaking. I'm a hundred percent with you on the collab thing. That's such a great thing that I think happens in here in Austin. You know, for me, a thing that I miss in general is Asian food mm -hmm. coming from Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like Man, like, I mean, I look, Uchiko's happy hour is great. Yeah. But I remember my jaw dropped the head just smashed the table when I found out that the nigiri was only one piece per order. Mm. Like at the most like, you know, the top shelf places in LA it's always two per order. So you pay a lot for sushi here. Yeah. Oh yeah. For that sure. being said, the best food's happening in a truck, you know. The oh, best it is. food's yeah, happening in a truck. Uh, uh, we sure. in we Austin. had a food truck uh Chef, he's an owner on, on our last yeah. Yummy AF episode. Mm -hmm. And, you know, some people think of food trucks about convenience and, and cheap, but that's sure. not the Austin food truck culture. No. The Austin no, food no. truck culture is I'm going to take something very specific and I'm going to elevate it and, and execute it right. hella, hella well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. And that's how you have a, a, a a good food truck in Austin yep. that survives. Yep. Yep. It's completely like when I was in Brooklyn, it was like, it's two in the morning, I need somewhere to eat. Oh, let me go to the halal truck down the street, yeah, and right. I'll just get a you know, you know lamb over rice and put the white sauce in the red sauce and do extra, and so I have something to eat. And but in Austin, yeah, yeah, exactly. But in Austin, it's like, oh, you're gonna take that chili and turn it up like 15 notches. All yeah. right, I'm there. You know, yeah. you know, I'll try that, and yeah, I'll pay a premium on it yeah. because it's not just about like. The, yeah. uh, the the food, it's about the whole experience, and it's about, you know, oh, I didn't think you could do that in a truck, but now all of a sudden, you know, you're cooking better food yeah. than what you can get if you have a full kitchen in I, front I, of you. Yeah. I honestly think if you had to ha have the top 10 dishes in Austin, at least five of those would come off trucks. Yeah, I mean, if you think about some of the more iconic restaurants in Austin, mm -hmm. they either are they've come or were. Or they've truck. come, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. like that's it, it is interesting. You brought up like this idea of like, oh, you know, I mean, look, I, I came from L.A. And pre 2008, pre like Koji, Korean barbecue tacos, which mm -hmm. changed the game for food trucks in L.A. And in the world, the, the whole country, oh. right? The whole yeah. country, you know, food trucks were like it was the Roach Coach and it was just legit tacos. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, it. that's it. But no, that's no it. branding, no nothing. But it was convenience and just good. Like if the best breakfast burritos were at. The Roach Coach, you right. know, but Austin's really different. It's it's about, as you said, I think focus, mm -hmm. and you ain't there to get in and out. If anything, you no. wait a right. long, yeah. long time. Longer the there than which at is a the point. Yeah. yeah, and you know, I gotta tell you, in terms of brisket and stuff, like you know, I've I've gone to Lockhart. I've now gone to the Big Three in Lockhart. And I can honestly say, like, yeah, what's happening in, in, in Austin proper blows away what I've had in Lockhart. That's yeah. There's some controversy. Ooh. Well, I think but I know it, what Lockhart's I about the tradition because all of Austin came out of the, that smoke, yeah. out, of the, out of those smokers. Yeah. Oh, they, they're definitely older. Yeah. yeah. They're older. <laughs> and look, the drive's great. The conversations you have are great. The vibe is great. I think the you brisket's all, you have, here, the sausage is there. Yeah. Yeah, I, you know what? I'll be honest. I think sausage is something like you'd have to really like mess up to get a bad link in Austin. There's great sausage. Yeah, but most sausage you're having in Austin is coming out of Elgin and is coming out of the Lockharts and the. How about Micklewait, my friend? Yeah, Micklewait's is solid. Mm -hmm. I love Terry Black's, but that's what I'm saying. Like, if you go back just 15 years, mm -hmm. I mean, it all and and. and I had the privilege. I worked with um, La Barbecue. Uh, that's his mother, Leanne. Leanne. Yeah. So he grew uh -huh. up in that whole family, uh -huh. and so I like sat next to him at work, 
and you have a lot of downtime in this job we had. And he was just telling me, like, yeah, my aunt and my uncle had it together, and then they got in a fight, and then they went over, and then he trained here. And I, like, literally, like, you can piece together the lineage, and it all just within 15 years goes back to Lockhart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's very interesting. I, I, I would love to write a piece on it or do a show on it sometime yeah. to show that, like, lineage and how it all spiders back. I haven't had it. But mm. the the old school guy, you know, you get those people who are like really from here, yeah. and they're and they have to be older too. The right. guy, I always say like, oh yeah, this uh, Sam Elliott motherfucker. Yeah. You know what I <laughs> mean? It's always some Sam Elliott motherfucker. Right, like, right. Big. Have mustache. you been to yeah. Cooper's and Lano? Right, pff, right. Go back to California. You know. What I mean? <laughs> but that dude was like, you got to go to Elgin. Mm-hmm. He was like, that's where you got to go for that. But look, I think Micklewhite sausage is. A, I've had a lot of great sausage. Like right. Terry Black sausage is amazing. Mickle Waits is great. Leroy and Lewis is great. There's a lot of great. Yeah, Leroy and Lewis there. are doing something. They're they're yeah. just doing interesting stuff. Yeah, for yeah. sure. And always, and they're always collabing and doing fun stuff. Yeah. So yeah. Um, another one of these guys that we could just you know. Uh, have. We could be here for hours. Yeah, you start talking yeah. food. With, you know, we might have to have him back again. I don't know. Oh, okay. He's Sorry, good enough for his own show, but twice right? on the dark web. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I gotta talk to him. My aide's gonna be like, "Were you on the dark web again?" <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, folks. Oh my goodness! Thank you so much for coming, Thank Ali. You? He, you know, if what, what's your tour? What? How do they find your tour? And we'll put it in the the comments. Uh, it, but. It's a good one. I, it's on hiatus right now because it's ten thousand degrees outside. Yeah, but we right. might bring it back in the fall. All right. Okay, in the, fall, it back in the fall, and it's what. Uh, East Austin, East Austin food truck tour. Okay. okay. So we go to a bunch of spots that either started out as food trucks like Kebabalicious mm-hmm. and Sour Duck. I mean, Sour Duck Market we go to, which obviously originally was Hot Duck um, right. Farm to Trailer. Um, we go to Trill. Trill's another spot. Um, and actually two spots. One of the things I think was really cool about the tour was we found two places that um, a Dominican trailer and a Pakistani trailer. Is the Dominican one... Um, it's called the Dominican. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I know those guys. Yeah, Melvin, right? In, in Kenny Durham's yes. backyard. Yes, on yes, yes. Side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's interesting how I found the Pakistani oh. truck was... Um, I was following Evan Leroy's feet. Yeah, they did the collab dinner. They did I went to that collab dinner. Yeah. That yeah, was amazing. Yeah, yeah. And, like, one of the dishes that he just had, Evan had on his feed, was Nahari. Which is a very specific. It's a beef curry. So if you know anything remotely close about like Indian stuff, usually you don't really see a lot of beef out of Indian restaurants. Mm-hmm. But if you look at the whole zone, which includes Pakistan, Bangladesh, that's where there's more Muslim majority. So then they have more beef. So literally, when I saw Nahari on the feed, I was like, "You found Nahari in Austin? I could count on one hand places to get Nahari in L.A." Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I was like, "I need to go check this spot out." So this other place at Tia's. Yep, they do a great. He does it's a version. T I A S. Yep, a- yeah, 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 yeah. It's a Pakistani truck. So yeah. that's what's cool about Austin to me is like, you know, you may not have like a Thai town, you know, right. or like a true, true Chinatown, but there's probably a truck out there that'll oh, at least scratch your itch. Sure. Yeah, not yeah, so bad. For sure. Right. Not for sure. so bad. For sure. And B Y O. Hello. That's, yeah, that's, and that's, that's the other thing we talk about that the B Y O B B or I guess yours is B O I O S. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but but the BYOB culture in Austin is 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 amazing as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or bring your own wine or bring your own Anything. tequila. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. But White claw. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. White claw. Uh, the claw. Uh, the claw. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much, man. Thanks, guys. Thanks for Appreciate coming out, man. You, man. Thanks Appreciate a lot. It. Thank you. Yummy AF. Yummy. You've Yummy. learned some good things, and man, I'm just I, I always end the night like. I gotta eat some more. So hungry. I am so hungry. And we've eaten like we've been right. eating all night here at Max's And we haven't Wine stopped. Dive. Yeah. No. So all right. Thanks. Good night, everybody. Good night.